You can see where our personality is, <laughs> right? We're a balance for each other. It'll be perfect. Welcome back to the Weaker Vessels Table. My name is Erica and this is my friend Amy. Hello everyone. We are so glad you joined us again. This is our second episode. Here we are. Number two, we have been woefully inconsistent with recording. But that won't be the case moving, moving forward. We'll get better. Yes. Uh, so today we are going to talk about being faithful and joyful in trials. Because, because this the is the year for that. Well, it's always the time for that. I feel like it's been like the last 10 years of our life, yes. but really it's only been a year since COVID began. <laughs> yes, true story. So joyful in all things. What's the verse that we were talking oh, about? Oh yes, let me, let me quickly pull up our verse. It's from James. Oh darn. Okay, James 1, 2 through 4. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and that steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. nothing. It's so hard to hmm, feel that when you're in it. Oh, for sure. And I think that this verse has become, thankfully, but a verse that I've been seeing more circulating even mm. through social media and stuff, like count it all joy. And it is really tricky to feel that when you are feeling so... Like overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. And like we were hopeful last year, like, oh, this is going away. Mm -hmm. And here we are in February and we are in a lockdown. In Can yeah, in Canada, in Canada, for those of you who don't know, we are in a, I don't know, it feels like a never-ending never lockdown. Ending. I think that there is, well, I don't know how silver lining, but we are hoping that it will end. <laughs> Um, eventually. <laughs> eventually. And it's just February for so many, myself included, mm -hmm. it's a very difficult month because winter, lockdown or not, it's cold. You're like, when is spring coming? And we are being shut down. We're being removed from people. We're being instructed, stay away. Like, don't be Yeah, together. this is actually a Zoom call in case you can't tell. Yes. We're not actually meeting in person. This is a really, <laughs> really good special Yes, effects. that's true. I That is true. I meant to say that too, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is, it's a difficult time and there's just, I think the one comfort is knowing we're all kind of going through this. Is that negative to say, but we're all kind of experiencing difficulty together. So we're... We're in it together. That's what, And it sounds corny because people have been saying that since like the beginning of the 14 days to right. flatten the curve, which has lasted... 12 months ago? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but as Christian women who are facing various trials, whether it's isolation, whether it's familial stress, whether it is um, parenting stress because a lot of kids are in and out of schools or oh, that's like... That's a big one. Um, I think especially in families, like there are extended family members yes. who perhaps do not agree with you and your politics. In America, I know there's a whole lot of weird stuff happening. Okay. In, politics and right. it's a stressful time. So all of us are feeling it a little bit differently, like different pressures, different trials, but all of us have trials. And if we aren't currently in one, we will be in one. Yeah, it's coming. Not too long from now. Right. <laughs> That's just the nature of life, right? Right. And we were talking before we started this about expecting joyful obedience. I think we talked about that actually in our first episode as well. About it's been wanting, a long time. I don't remember. <laughs> about wanting like, or expecting joyful obedience from our children. Yeah. And how can we expect that of them if we're here dragging mm -hmm. our feet, feeling ho-hum about or the grumpy. state of things? And it it's easy. We're all feeling a sense of that. Like, is mm -hmm. this going to end? These lockdowns mean that we're not legally allowed to gather with families. We're not, church has still not yet been deemed essential, mm -hmm. um, which is nonsense. And we, we need that, but we're, there's hardships everywhere. There really are. But we need to be the example to our children. And that's, Easier said than done. And it starts with getting our noses in the Word of God. Absolutely. Like if we are neglecting our Bible reading, then like everything else just spins out. It does. And yeah. it happens so quickly. And I notice that if I skip over my morning reading because I'm busy or something's happening, 
what inevitably ends up happening is like my mood is off yeah. and like you know how it is when you start the day with a grumpy attitude mm -hmm. the kids catch it it's contagious absolutely and grumpy attitudes are contagious but so is joy so is positivity and so when you are just encouraging your families with scripture when you are faithful and diligent yeah um, that's contagious as well. And not only to your family, but other women. Right. And I think sometimes, I don't know what there's a term for it, like toxic positivity. Have you heard of this? Yes, I have. I'm not suggesting like be fake in what's no, going on. Not. Acknowledge that like, yeah, things are tough right now. And there might be yes. something very personal going on that you're like, I don't know why God would put this on my shoulders, but he did. Yeah. So count it all joy that God saw fit that that's the situation that you're in right now, mm -hmm. whether you're at the bottom of a really big hill to climb or it's just like you're enjoying the sunshine. Like, yeah. Count God it all joy. There. Yeah. Count it all joy. And the that scripture verse says that it perfects us, that this is sanctifying for us, right. that every <clears throat> trial is not a waste of trial. God doesn't waste anything. Every little bit is meant right. for your good and for God's glory. And we even can see this, I'm sure, looking back, I don't know, two years, five years, whatever, the trials that we were facing then, we can see the good fruit that's come Absolutely. from them. It wasn't super fun <laughs> in the, the moment time. walking through them, right. but it, it did produce steadfastness and it did bring God glory. Right. And, and the it, same is true now. Right. And it prepares you for the next thing. Because as we said, there is going to be the next thing. Like hopefully it's not another yes. ludicrous thing the world shuts down yes. business, but we don't know what is going to happen, but we do know that there is always an inevitable difficulty, whether yes. it's a massive life yes. event or if it's something smaller, but every little thing, like you said, you look back and you're like, oh, that's why I went through that because now this doesn't yeah. feel as hard or maybe you're not the person going through the difficulty and it's yeah. a friend going through it and you can be like, listen, this is what and then you can be, you can offer counsel or comfort or whatever it might mm -hmm. be. But again, count it all joy because it does pro produce steadfastness, which is yeah. like, just keep saying it over and over. And I think next episode we'll talk about like Christian friendships in particular. But isn't it funny? And I was just thinking about this, how when we think about trials, it can be such a, um, a varied perception of what a trial is it could be yes. death or it could be birth right that's right? a good point we've all been through like losing a parent or grandparent and like how hard that is but how hard also is having a brand new baby and like lacking sleep or lacking that's so true yeah that's a good distinction because it could be like oh so why aren't you celebrating you're going yes. through this thing but yeah. when you're in it you're like does that mean i can't be struggling yeah they're all struggles yeah and we all need to still. So trial may not even be necessarily something bad. It could be actually a gift from God, but that's sometimes true. gifts from God that's can smart, be heavy. That, that's a good distinction. Yeah, because when you're the one going through it, you're like, well, why do I even feel this way? Yep. And it's because God wants to. He's still weeding something out in that's you, right? That's right. It's so true. And then hopefully, like I, I think of like my history and I've had to go through various mm. dark spots. And I think like. I've been really fortunate to see the other side of those tunnels too. Yeah. Like having kids and not sleeping for six years. I wish that was an <laughs> Literally exaggeration. Literally almost six years. Yeah, I'll probably talk about that again in the future. But like it was such a huge long trench and I never thought I'd get out of it. And then now I'm, yes. sleep is like the best and I do it all of the time. And I'm <laughs> able to look back and be like, what could I have done differently? How much of a blessing to get through that. That's yeah. just a very simple example that some people wouldn't consider a trial. Um, but it was for me, and I get to see the other end. And other yeah. difficulties too, but that's just an example that not everyone would yeah, maybe and... consider a trial. But sometimes you get to see the other end and be like, whoa, God taught me this, and he right. prepared me for this, and yep. it's a blessing. And that's why those Titus two type of relationships are so important, because it's the older women who have gone through the six right. years of lack of sleep That's who can right. be like honey this is a blessing yeah like it doesn't feel like one but praise god when you're up at three in the morning right. and you're still up at seven in the morning and you've not slept any in between <laughs> i remember those days oh, yes. yes yes but it's true so do, like regardless of what your trial might be and it could be job loss it could be illness right now mm -hmm. it could be family division it could be 
and anything mm -hmm. in between because we know that these are some very real yeah. things going on for people um, that we know and far and wide but don't lose heart be encouraged that God has you exactly where you're yeah. supposed to be and maybe maybe you won't get to see the other side of that trench for a really long time and maybe you never will yeah that's up to God but like count it all joy that God saw fit that you are exactly where yes. you're supposed to be and and when you are weak go to God's word be praying pray the Psalms like there's such strength in just praying God's word back to him um yeah, be joyful, model to your family, to your children, to your friends, what it looks like to go through hardship right. as a Christian woman. What does that look like? It looks different than um, when the world goes through trials and hardships. They fall apart. Right. Christian women should not fall apart. Right, because what an example we can be right now as a light shining mm -hmm. into the darkness that like, what's different about them that right. they're going through this thing and they're not falling apart. And I like that <clears> suggestion <throat> of praying through the Psalms or scripture because mm -hmm. sometimes when you're really desperate and you're going through a particular difficulty and you're like you know what i don't even know what to pray right, right now well lucky for us we have like a manual <laughs> that's just like you can say this yeah and you know that you're it's approved right so i think that's such a wonderful suggestion too but yes so we hope this was encouraging absolutely um it was cathartic for us a is that the bit. right word yeah yeah okay um Next week, we'll get into relationship stuff a little bit more. We thank you for joining us. We hope that you come back next time. And if you ever need anything, advice, prayer, please reach out to us. Absolutely. We would love to do both of those things for you, with you. And until next time. Count it all joy.